we're playing speed draw in Minecraft. Each of us have three minutes to draw something, and then we have to randomly look at another person's drawing and try to build it. And at the end, we have to guess which drawing belongs to which build. Ooh, this is gonna be easy. I'm gonna be able to guess all of them. We'll see about that, but first, everyone gets to their canvas. We have three minutes to build, and the timer is about to start. Uh, okay, I know what I'm drawing. Oh, yeah, me too. And all right, here, everyone, just grab your brush, and all right, let's see. What should I draw? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. The timer's already started, right? And, oh, gosh, yeah, you're right. The timer is started. Uh, okay, well, well, I guess... Oh, I'll draw a computer. Okay, here, let me just select some black paint and... Okay, here, the first thing I need to do is actually draw the computer tower. So, I guess I can just have, like, a big tower shape thingy over here like this. There we go. That looks pretty good. And here, let me fill it all in just like that. That's looking pretty nice. And... Oh, wait, I should also add some red, green, and blue lighting over here to the top. This is gonna be the sickest gaming PC ever. So, let's just put all of these lights over there. Boom! And okay, okay, what else do we need for a computer setup? And ooh, okay, we need to get the monitor next. So here, let's draw that now. We can just have a little stand over here like this. This will be the monitor stand. And then we can draw the monitor on top of it just like this. There we go, looking good. And uh, hmm, what else do we need? Oh wait, we need to actually like fill in the screen. So we can just put a bunch of blue paint in there like that. And uh, oh, the next thing we probably need to get is the mouse and keyboard, right? So uh, here, I guess we can just like draw the mouse going from the side of the computer down here. And then we can just draw like a little circular looking shape just like that. There we go. That looks like a mouse. And oh, wait here. Let's add some mouse buttons over here like that. There we go. And oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We also need to make a keyboard. Let me just grab some gray paint. And, and oh, gosh, wait. I don't really have enough room for the keyboard. I think I need to erase the monitor. There we go. Let's just erase that really quick. And then just draw it up a little bit higher right over here. Boom. There we go. And there we go. The new monitor is done. And now I just got to make the keyboard really quick. So let me just do that really quick. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And done. There we go. And me too, done. Yep, finished. And I think I have the best drawing here. There we go. And let's go. All right. Well, anyways, now that we are all done, let's meet up in the middle again. And what we have to do now is hit this button. What it'll do is teleport us to each other's plots at random. And then we have to build whatever drawing we get teleported to. So is everyone ready? Yes, this is so fun. All right. All right. So here, let's hit the button in three, two, one. Here we go. And okay, which drawing did I get? And whoa, wait, what is this? What is this one. Oh, I definitely know what this is. Mm, I got a pretty interesting one. And all right, here, I guess let me analyze what drawing I got. And okay, hold on. This kind of looks like a racetrack. See, we got like the finish line over here. And then, ooh, all of these things over here are cars. Okay, yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm going to build. Let me just grab a little bit of concrete. And okay, this is kind of a weird colored racetrack. We need to use pink concrete for the floor. And then we need some brown concrete for the sides. And then what color cars do we have? We got green, orange, purple, red, yellow. Okay, let's grab like every color for the cars. Or actually, we can just add the cars later here. For now, what we should do is probably set up the actual racetrack itself. So here, let's do that now. Okay, I think I'll just build this up pretty tall. I don't know how tall this is supposed to go. This canvas is kind of small. And yeah, you're right. We don't have much room to build with, but ooh, wait, guys, we can actually build like underneath our canvas and stuff as well. But actually, I have an idea. Instead of building this by hand, what I can do is just grab a shovel really quick and let me just run this command slash brush. Boom, there we go. And now what I can do is just draw on the floor like this. Let's go. This is actually OP. Oh yeah, that actually sounds really OP. And yeah, we can literally draw in the blocks. But anyways, here. What I need to do for this racetrack is just make everything a little bit thicker. So I just gotta make these brown walls a little bit thicker. And then I can put the pink racetrack on top of it. And ooh, wait, I got an idea. What if I make this like a double decker racetrack? I can have a racetrack over here and then I can have like another floor on top of it just to make it even cooler. Well, I'm building the canoe boat thing that was here. And wait, canoe boat thing? That's interesting. Right, you're building it really well. It must have been drawn pretty well too. And, ooh, yeah, that actually looks sick. Uh, I just built what I thought I saw. All right, but anyways, I think this should be good for the first part of the racetrack. What I need to do now is grab some pink concrete and just build like the actual uh, racetrack on top of it because for some reason there was like brown concrete on the sides and then pink in the middle. Or wait, actually what I could do is just replace all of the floor on the inside with a bunch of pink concrete. Yeah, this should be pretty good. Wait, you get to build a racetrack? That's awesome. And yep, I got a racetrack. Well, I'm pretty sure I got a racetrack. It should be pretty cool. It's kind of like a weird color though. It's like pink and brown. I've never really seen a racetrack that's colored like this before. Well, I like the style of whoever drew mine because I'm building a giant birthday cake. And whoa, wait, you got a birthday cake? Is it edible? Can we have it? Uh, yeah, I hope so. And wow, okay, well, it looks like speaker, but you got like the perfect match for uh, what you're building. But anyways, here, let me just continue putting all of this floor over here. Well, I am starting my business tower. Business tower, what? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a business tower. That's what I saw was on the drawing. Business tower? 
And okay, okay, we all drew some pretty interesting stuff, I guess. I can't wait to see who got my drawing, but anyways, let me just finish up this racetrack over here. All I gotta do is just finish placing these brown concrete over here for the outline. There we go, and ooh, I should probably put some fence around it so that, you know, people don't actually fall off the track when they're racing. Mm, I'm building this exactly as I'm seeing it, but I think it's kind of boring. I'm just gonna add some extra stuff. Yeah, same here. Like, whoever drew this didn't put any frosting on the cake. What? How could they do that? And ooh, yeah, guys, we should definitely add some, like, additional cool stuff to the builds, but make sure not to make it look too different from the drawing because remember at the end we still have to guess what drawing are from what builds it's fine i think the person that i'm building this for will really really like it and oh yeah same here hopefully the person i'm building this for likes it as well but anyways let me just continue putting all of these fences around here and then i can start putting down the race cards it is actually gonna be so sick well i just finished putting my wrecking ball attached to the business tower this is going pretty well and what the wrecking ball attached to the business tower what you got a the very interesting drawing i will say speaker man uh, yeah some of this stuff is kind of weird but uh, i guess it looks nice and uh uh, yeah, I guess so. But anyways, let me just finish up with this racetrack over here. As soon as it's done, I'm going to take it for a test. But it's going to be sick. Oh, we should all race on the racetrack to see who wins. And ooh, yeah, you're right. But anyways, it looks like it's almost done. Let's see. What did I miss? And oh, wait, I need to add the finish line. Right. Okay, let me grab a little bit of some black and white concrete. And uh, here, wait, where is the finish line at? Okay, it's on over here, the right side. I guess we can just build it over here like this. Let me just clear out some space for it. And let me put down all of the concrete. Boom. There we go. And actually, wait, I think I can make this even better. Let me just make this this fence go a little bit up like this just like that there we go and now what i can do is just make this finish line like over here in the sky as well this will look cooler boom there we go but anyways now the next thing i need to do is actually add in all of the cars and i'm pretty sure what we can do is actually grab some functional cars so let's see and ooh, yeah okay we've got a lot of vehicles here let's see what are we working with here what type of car should i grab and ooh, wait what about some go-karts oh, sound fun what about dirt bikes and oh wait actually hold on let's see can i put dirt bikes uh i guess some of these could resemble dirt bikes like one of these vehicles over here is only one pixel big so uh, I, I guess that could count as a dirt bike let's see let me just grab a dirt bike and boom there we go this thing is awesome all right i'm just gonna scatter these all around the track we can just have some go-karts around over here like this there we go boom and now the only thing i need to do is actually color them and okay there's a lot of bright colors for the cars so let me just grab a little bit of every single type of dye i can find and let me also grab a spray can and a crafting table so that i can actually uh dye the spray can this thing is kind of boring so i'm gonna add some arms on the side and ooh, all all right, wait, hold on. What even are you building it? Wait, what the? What is that? It's like a weird tree orange chicken thing, I think. And oh, wait, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I can't wait to see who actually drew everything uh, that we're building once we like get to the end. But anyways, let me just continue combining all of this dye with my spray cans. Well, anyways, what I need to do now is just go around and dye all of these vehicles around my track. So let me just go ahead and do that. Boom, there we go. These are actually looking sick. Oh, Dash, you're really getting fancy with this. And yeah, I know, this is actually looking awesome. It looks exactly like what the draw drawing looks like it is actually perfect i'm probably gonna win this honestly i don't know about that my build looks almost identical to the drawing and whoa okay yeah you're just like a big cake and wait why is there water everywhere uh, i don't know whoever drew it put it in the middle of the ocean why would you ever put a cake in the ocean i don't know it's kind of a weird drawing and yeah that's pretty interesting very abstract i will say but anyways now it's time to build the second floor of my racetrack what i'm gonna do is make the racetrack loop all the way around and go like all the way up in the air that way if you're looking at it from the top down it's still gonna look the same as the drawing but it's gonna have a bunch of additional features. So here, let's do that now. I need to start building a little ramp. And here, let me just grab some slabs and ooh, wait, I can use these purple slabs since they're gonna blend in with the pink concrete. That way the track isn't gonna look weird when it's going up. So here, let's just add these over here like this. This is actually looking sick. And oh wait, hold on. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this go-kart over here for now. And I guess it's this is like, you know, like a, a business center. I'll just have like some cubicles here. And ooh, yeah, nice. That could look pretty cool on the inside of your build since you have like an office tower. But wait, hold on. I gotta test out my race track. I haven't tested it out yet so here let me just hop on the dirt bike since dirt bikes are the best and here we go let's try going on the ramp let's see is the ramp actually gonna work and everything and oh yeah it's working perfectly as expected let's go although we're gonna have to fix that we can't just have a big drop over there because that is a, a big safety hazard but anyways let's just continue building this ramp over here we gotta make it go all the way up in the air and then we can have like another loop or something and i, I don't know but there, there's a lot of possibilities here uh, i don't think this is safe but uh, i guess this could work what do you mean it's not safe and uh, i'm kind of putting them in cages what wait the, the workers in your office building why? I think that's how to make the workers more productive. Uh, what the? I, I don't think so, but you have fun with that. But anyways, I gotta continue this go-kart track. This is looking sick. And look, from the top down, it still pretty much looks the same as the drawing. Except when you look at it from the side, that's where things get pretty crazy. And okay, wait, hold on. It looks like I have to try to make it turn over here, except it's still going up. This is gonna be kind of tough. I guess what I could do is just have like a little flat area over here like that. And then I can have it turn 
this way. Okay, this is gonna be kind of a sharp turn, but it should do. Wait, oh, wait, actually, I just realized I, I gotta put a bunch of fences around all of this to make sure people don't fall off. Instead of putting all these fences down manually once I'm done with the actual track, why don't I just run the command slash slash wand so that I can grab a wand? And then what I could do is go in this corner over here and just uh, select this block and then go in this corner over here and select this block. This is kind of gonna mess with a lot of my race track, but it's gonna be worth it. What I can do is just look up and then run the command slash slash stack uh, the 100 and boom, there we go. Now we've got like all the fences that we need, although it kind of erased the, the racetrack that we already had. Hmm, I don't really want to rebuild it. That's gonna take so long, but what I could do is slash slash undo this and then hear me out. What I could do is just go here and then select this position and then go all the way up over here in this corner and select a second position. And then let me just go down right over here in this corner and then just run the command slash slash copy. And now let me just slash slash stack the fence again. There we go. And pretty much now what I could do to repair uh, all of the go kart track that got erased. I can just go over here and run the command slash slash paste and boom. There we go. Look, this part of the go kart track is still here, but we still have all these fences around here as well. So uh, I guess these fences down here we have to place manually or actually no, we don't. What we could do is select them like this and then again slash slash stack 100 then boom. There we go. Too easy. Wait, Dash, if you're putting a bunch of fences, won't that like change what the drawing is supposed to look and like? Oh gosh. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Um, well, let's see. I guess I can go all the way to the top of my build and see how that looks as long as it looks the same as a drawing from the top down then it should be good and okay i need to break all these blocks over here there we go they are all broken nice and all right let's see does it still look like a racetrack oh gosh i gotta go really high in the air oh gosh wait yeah speaker baby you're kind of right it kind of like changed the entire look of the build what are you gonna do about it and wait actually i do have an idea what i could do is go all the way here in this corner and select this position and then let me go all the way down in this corner over here and wow okay i was very high in the air it took me a while to come down and let me just run the command slash slash replace fence with glass boom there we go and ooh, okay now this is looking really cool well, it does look really cool yeah and look the best part about this is that now if you look down from the top it still looks the same as the drawing which is perfect exactly what i was looking for but here let me get rid of all of these blocks over here let me just select this position and let me go down over here and select this position and let me just run slash slash replace concrete with air boom and here let me do the same with the slabs boom there we go and now all i have to do is just focus on expanding this track and oh wait i also have to finish with this glass let me just continue slash slash stacking this just gotta do it a few more times boom there we go and all right now all of the inside is filled with glass i think i need to do the same on the outside though there's still some of this outside wall that isn't like stacked all the way up yeah okay we have to select all this and then just continue slash slash stacking it Dash, i'm also building a little racetrack on my plot and, wait you are hold on can i see it? and whoa wait this looks pretty cool but wait was this in your drawing kind of there was like little white things so i just decided to turn them into a racetrack and, oh oh yeah fair enough i guess so but anyways i'm almost done with my racetrack as well actually all i gotta do is just finish putting all of this glass over here and actually wait i'm not almost done i'm almost done with the glass though so i just need to stack that and there we go now all of the glass is set up all i gotta do now is focus on actually like you know making the track go up so here we go back to the track and, oh wait actually let me add one of these glass sliding doors this could look pretty cool since it's made out of glass it's not gonna like really look weird when you look at it from the top and boom there we go those doors look pretty nice and there we go my money printing machines are done and, what your money printing machines what yeah obviously every business has one wait can i have some money printed uh sure how much do you need um maybe like 10 million thousand wait 10 million thousand uh, i'm pretty sure that's not a number i think it's like uh 10 billion or something yeah just make up your mind tell me how much you want um at least two i don't know only two that seems kind of low no all of it i want all of it uh, you can't have all of it all of it's for the business i can give you a little bit of money though here you go yeah and here, it looks like we got another turn coming up. So let's just make another flat strip of land over here like that. Boom. And then we can actually have it go up again right over here. And wait, okay. This racetrack's going to be kind of boring if it's just like the same thing all the way up to the top. I think I need to add some like, you know, surprises and stuff like that. So, uh, hmm, what could I do? And oh, wait, actually, I can add some unique stuff to the bottom of the racetrack. That way, when you look at it from the top, since this part of the racetrack is going to be covering it, you're not going to be able to see all the changes I made. So it'll still look the same as the drawing. So, uh, let's see. What could we do when... <gasps> Wait a minute. What if I add some of these ramps and some of these speed boosters? Yeah, this could be sick. Well, if only I could have those in my race course. And oh, yeah, right. Since you're building a boat race course, you can't really have those. But you could have like obstacles and stuff. You could have like dispensers that, I don't know, shoot stuff at the racers uh, to make it more challenging. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty smart. But here, we can just start putting all of these booster pads all the way around the track. This is going to be sick. We just have to make sure to put them whenever there's a flat strip of land because we can't really have them like turning because that's not going to work. And hmm, where should we put? 
these, uh, you know, ramps. I, I guess we can put one over here at the start of the ramp, so we can just have one over there like that. And Okay, hold on. Let's test this out. Let's see. How is this going to work? Let's give this a go. And Whoa! Okay, that may be a little bit too fast, but uh, we'll go with it. We'll leave it there. Yeah. Let me just park this go-kart down here again. And Okay, we have a few of these boost pads, but now I think we got to add some obstacles because we don't want the track to be too easy. And, ooh, wait. I have an idea. What if I add some ghost blocks? That could be super cool. Pretty much what I could do is have an entire row of ghost blocks over here just like this and pretty much what ghost blocks are they look like normal blocks but you can actually go through them and pretty much what we can do is make it so that if you fall into the ghost blocks you have to restart the race so uh here let's go down over here really quick and here let's just dig beneath all of the ghost blocks just like this and now we got to build like a mini track over here that makes it so that if you fall over here you get taken all the way back to the start so uh hmm, how are we gonna do that oh actually i have an idea what we can do is just have like a bunch of boost pads all over the floor that way if you land in here you'll just immediately start going towards the start but uh first we should probably dig a tunnel that takes us to the start so let's do that now and there we go i now have the tier two workers set up what? tier two workers you have different tiers of workers yeah of course i have tier two workers uh, you know you have to move up somewhere in the world uh, okay well what do the tier two guys do and what do the tier one guys do oh they get cubicles instead of cages now oh oh that's uh, quite the upgrade i will say and there we go i think this should be good are we at the start of the racetrack now oh yeah okay we're at the start over here this is perfect now what i can do over here now that i'm at the start of the racetrack up uh, well i guess the first thing i should probably do is make this area look nice so let's set all of the walls to some concrete boom there we go that's looking pretty nice let's just do that to all of the walls around this entire area boom that's looking pretty good and i guess for the floor we don't really have to make it look nice since we're going to be covering all of that up with these booster pads let me just slash slash stack this and boom there we go Ooh, that's perfect it lined up perfectly with the wall now i can just put these other booster pads over here and then let me slash slash stack these ones as well there we go and then now we just need a way for people to like get out once they get over here if we get some sort of thing that boosts the cars upward that would be pretty cool wait actually i think i got an idea what if we just have a bunch of these super steep ramps let's just put these all up over here just like this there we go and okay that's looking pretty nice hold on i want to test out what happens if someone actually goes through the ghost blocks let's test it out with this go-kart right over here let's just go down over here like this and whoa okay uh, we are going whoa whoa whoa! that is very fast and here we go whoa we already just get kicked out of the arena okay well uh, that works i guess and here let's also make sure to cover up the entire thing with some ghost blocks so that it still looks natural when you look down uh, we can't really cover up this part but that's fine but uh yeah there we go i think that's enough obstacles we should probably work on expanding the track for now since we we're kind of stopped over here we gotta take this thing all the way up to the sky once i finish adding these traps this race course will be finished and ooh, wait you're taking the traps idea that i told you about wait what type of traps are you adding well i have some arrow dispensers and i'm adding lava right now and ooh, okay that sounds pretty sick i'm probably gonna add some more traps later as well right now i've got this one ghost block trap thingy set up but i definitely gotta add more like you later but anyways here it looks like we got another turn over here so let's just just have a little flat area just like this and there we go boom and all right now we can continue making the track go up but wait as soon as we make the track go as far as over here we won't have to build any more what we can do is just like go down here copy this and then just paste it up here again so that we can just have it infinitely looping should be pretty sick here let's just continue making this go up a little bit just like this this there we go and okay i think this should be about far enough there we go yeah and now let me do slash slash wand again and okay this is gonna be the tough part we have to select all of this perfectly so here let's go up in this corner over here and we gotta see what block is this at. okay this block over here so we can just build out a little bit like this there we go and let's select this as position one and then we can go down all the way over here and let's just select our position two right over here and then hear me out this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go right over here i'm pretty sure yeah this looks about right and we can just run the command slash slash copy and then let's go up over here i hope this works and it doesn't mess up the entire track well let's just go right over here and then run the command slash slash paste and boom there we go now we've got the track over here and oh wait hold on i think i did it wrong you can see the glass is kind of messing up okay let's try slash slash undoing that let's go back down here again and let's just try slash slash copying it from over here and then let's go up over here and slash slash paste it right over here boom and okay i think this should work perfectly yeah look at that none of the glass got messed up now all we gotta do is just make everything connect just like that and boom there we go we can pretty much just like infinitely repeat this track now let's just do the same right over here on the next floor boom there we go and let's do the same all the way up 
here until we reach the very top. And oh wait, actually, it looks like we're pretty much already at the very top. Okay, I guess we can put one more track down over here. Let's slash slash paste that in. Boom, there we go. And okay, perfect. We are literally at the top of the world right now. This is awesome. Wow, wait, you have speed boost on every single corner. Um, don't you think this is gonna like get a little bit out of control? And oh wait, no, hold on, don't worry. The speed boost was just like an error when I was copying and pasting it. I'm getting rid of that right now, just like this. There we go. Go. And yeah, there's like a bunch of speed boots just flying around everywhere. I need to get rid of this stuff. And, oh gosh, wait, there's also doors over here in the ceiling. I need to get rid of this too. And why, uh, why did my drawing get brought up over here? Let's get rid of that. All right, well, I'll leave you to that. I've got to go back to my crypto mining facility. Your what? Uh, you heard me, crypto mining facility. What? are you talking about i don't know but uh, anyways let's just continue building i gotta get rid of all of these doors that accidentally got pasted up over here all right well i'm just finishing up my spleef area this area is gonna be so awesome and whoa wait a spleef area that actually is a pretty cool idea for your build wait what even is your build i'm still a bit confused on what it is um it's like an orange tangerine tree monster thing sacrificing someone. I don't really know, actually. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Well, I hope whoever drew it likes what you built. Yeah, it's very creative. And uh, I think so. But anyways, wait, I'm looking at my thingy from the top right now. And it still pretty much looks similar to the drawing, kind of. What I could do to make it look more like the drawing is just go up here and select all of this glass. I just need to select this top row of glass over here at the top. And let me just replace all of this glass with some brown concrete. There we go. And boom, look, now if I look at it from the top, it's going to look uh, pretty much the same as a drawing. Yeah, this looks perfect. All right, well, anyways, now that my main track is done, I got to come up with a way to have people, like, you know, go back down once they reach the top. Because I can't just have them, like, drop down over here. That's not going to take them to the bottom. Or, wait, is it? Actually, hold on. I might have an idea that could work. What I could do is grab some more ghost blocks again. And then pretty much what I could do is just have, like, a little area on this corner. Which is just all going to be covered up with some of these glass ghost blocks just like this. And pretty much what people are going to have to do is drive their vehicles onto the glass ghost blocks over here and that'll take them all the way down to the bottom i guess this could work uh here let's try it out let's just put down all of these ghost blocks over here until we reach the very bottom boom there we go and yeah okay i think this works it's pretty much like an infinitely looping track now but here the only way to find out is to put it to the test so here let's grab our purple go-kart again and let's go and whoa okay that ramp is so sick and here we go here we go so far so good the track is going good and, oh yeah i guess the ghost blocks can also act as an obstacle for people going up the track we got to be careful to dodge them because otherwise we're gonna fall so here we go let's just keep going all the way around the track like this whoa wait yeah this track is actually huge this is awesome we are almost at the top though so let's get ready to drop here we go and i think it's just right over here let's try it out here we go and whoa yeah okay it's working perfectly let's go it actually worked perfectly but now we need to add a way for people to get off the track if they're like tired of racing or something so i guess what we could do is just go underneath these ghost blocks again and then just dig out a little bit down over here and play some more ghost blocks and this right over here could be the exit area so people can just drop down over here and then they could drive their cars uh i don't know off this way yeah this could be the exit uh what speaker man uh, what are you doing here <laughs> Woo! what the heck uh, uh, did you just try my go-kart track dude you fell into the trap you gotta be careful i didn't know there was a trap and, yeah it's not an easy go-kart track it's supposed to be a challenge oh i didn't know there was a trap hold on let me go again and uh okay and, uh, pff, you fell in it again that thing sucks uh no i'm pretty sure you're just a really bad racer i did it first try uh, no you're just a bad builder like look I you can't even do that. Did you fall into it again? Okay, let me show you how easy it is. All you gotta do is just line yourself up with the bridge, and yeah, simple as that. You had experience, and I did it. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> you're actually so bad at racing. Wow, that is uh, impressive. I'm not bad at racing. I'm bad at bad courses. Uh, no, I think the course is just fine. It seems like a skill issue to me, and oh, wow, you really cannot get this. I literally just got stuck. This race course sucks. Okay, well, I'll just leave you to it, but anyways, what I was thinking, over here can be the exit, so uh, I guess let's just build a little wall over here out of some glass. Oh, I did it! Here we go! Oh, no, about time. But anyways, here, we can also get rid of this finish line over here since we're technically moving the finish line up to the top. And here, let me just fill in all of that. And what we can do here is just have a little glass wall. Or actually, we should probably build it out of some concrete so that people don't run into it by accident. And this could be the exit area where people can oh, park their... Wait, speaker man, did you just fall through the exit? Hey, you made it to the end. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not an easy track, you know. It's a drop. It's pretty fun, no? No, I thought I was gonna definitely, you know, splat. Oh, uh, well, no, 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 don't worry about it. And Oh, wait, actually, speaking about that, I should probably add, like, some sort of water or something at the end. So let me just grab some water and a pressure plate. And here, look, what I can do is just have some pressure plates going like that, and then uh, I can just have the water in there. So look, it's, it's like a perfectly soft landing. People will land into the water, and then they can just drive off like this. I guess that works, but my business this is gonna sue you for all the damages I took. What? Uh, okay, well, anyways, it looks like the exit area of my go-kart track is pretty much all complete. Uh, actually, let me fill in these blocks over here. And wait, what I could do, 
just to make it look a little bit nicer is add some of these yellow lines over here so that people know which way to go. This will make it look more like a real road. Yeah, this is starting to look sick. There we go. And boom, there we go. The exit area of the go-kart track is done. Hmm, what else do we need to build now? Well, I built a bunch of traps in my race course, so maybe you should do the same. Ooh, yeah, 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 you're right. The traps, I need more obstacles. I completely forgot about that. Okay, well, hmm, let's see. What type of obstacles could I even do? Ooh, I guess I could do something with dispensers. Let me just grab a few of these dispensers and uh, where should I put this? Ooh, okay, I'll put it right over here. I'll just have the dispensers start uh, over here like this and I can just have a bunch of dispensers going down just like this. Boom, there we go. And all right, here's what I was thinking for these dispensers. What I could do is put some pink concrete around over here like this and then grab some redstone and some repeaters. And then let me put some redstone on top of all of these dispensers and then also have some repeaters going around like this. And pretty much what I'm gonna do is just make an infinitely repeating redstone loop. So just like this and I don't need these blocks over here actually. Let me just go ahead and start this now. There we go. And okay, check it out. Now every few seconds, these dispensers are gonna activate and fire whatever's inside of them. And speaking about whatever's inside of them, let's grab ourselves some fireballs really quick. And let's just fill up all of these dispensers with a bunch of fireballs. That way anyone doing this race course is gonna have to try to dodge all of these fireballs. So let's just replace all of these dispensers with filled ones. There we go. Now they're all filled up. And, oh wait, hold on. We have to reactivate the redstone loop. Let's do that right now. There we go. And all right, now check it out. It fires fireballs every few seconds. This is actually awesome. Wait, you're using fireballs? That's it? Wait, what, what do you mean that's it? This is pretty hard, no? Uh, yeah, maybe if you're like a baby. You are a baby. I don't know, make it harder. That seems super easy. And, okay, okay. I guess if you say so, um, let me think. What could I do next? <gasps> Ooh, wait, what about? I have like a lava dispenser. That could be kind of cool. That way, like people are going to have to actually stop and wait if there's lava so that if you're going too fast, you're just going to go into the lava. So here, let me just grab a few more dispensers and we can just place them down right over here just like this. Boom. Let me grab some lava buckets. And okay, I don't know about lava. That's gonna be kind of dangerous. But wait, what about some fake lava? This could work. Pretty much fake lava just looks like normal lava. But if you go inside of it, you'll get fire resistance and it's it's just not real lava. And oh gosh, I gotta clear this. It's spreading. There we go. All right, it's all gone. And pretty much what I could do is just have a bucket of fake lava inside of each one of these dispensers. And okay, here, now let's put some redstone on top of all of these dispensers. And then, um, hmm, how are we gonna do this? Well, wait, what we should do actually is grab an observer and then just put the output of that observer going this way like that. And, oh gosh, wait, that just activated that. Oh no, oh no, I did not mean to activate that early. And pretty much what I was thinking is we can have one of these repeater loops over here just like this. And here, let me get rid of this observer for now. We can put that later when we need it. And then let me just activate this redstone loop really quick. There we go. And now pretty much what we can do is put this observer down right over here like that. And check it out. Look, it's gonna like activate the lava for one second and then unactivate it again. Uh, wait, uh, am I doing this right? Hold on, I, I don't think I did this right. And, oh no, wait, it's leaving the lava on for too long. Okay, hold on, I think I need to do this one more time. And okay, let me try this one more time. I think I have to time it perfectly so that the lava goes at the time I want it to. So let's try this out. And okay, I think we got it working. Let's see, will this work? And yes, perfect, but um, hold on. It's not leaving the lava for long enough. I wanted it to leave the lava for like one second so that it could flow down, but but, um, hmm, how can we do that? What we could try doing is adding a repeater over here and then just uh, putting the redstone there like that and then having the observer right over here. Will this work? And oh, uh, oh, wait, hold on. I think I messed it up again. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, this is not working. Okay, I think this lava thing may have been a bit of a bad idea. I cannot seem to get it to work. Okay, well, uh, let's just get rid of all this lava stuff. I have, a, I have an even better idea. And okay, what about instead of all of that lava stuff, what we could do is grab some ice and just put that around like a bunch of the floor to make it super slippery. This should make the track uh, quite a bit more difficult and it's a lot easier to set up than that lava stuff. So here, let's just continue putting this around the entire track just like this. This, uh, let's put like some over here as well. And here, I can just put this all around my racetrack. Boom, there we go. And okay, I think with that, my racetrack should be complete. Yeah, my build is completely finished. And there, I'm done. Oh yeah, my cake is done too. And oh boy, perfect. I think we are all done. But anyways, now that we are all done, that means it is time to see which builds belong to which drawings. So uh, here, everyone get back in the middle. All right, well, now do we get to see all the drawings? And yup, exactly. When we hit this button, we're gonna get teleported to all of the drawings. And then we have to try to all guess of which drawings are from what build. So here, let's hit the button in three, two, one. Here we go. And oh, okay, here are all the drawings. And, oh, wait, look, there's mine right there. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Oh, this is my drawing. Oh, mine's over here. This is mine. Wait, wait, speaker baby, this one was yours. <gasps> wait, you drew the racetrack. Well, what do you think of my build? Racetrack? No, this is a donut. And, wait, what? That's a 
donut? Well, why is there like cars on it and like a finish line? Yeah, those are sprinkles and that right there, that's the napkin that you eat with it. Oh, that's the napkin? Wait, why is the napkin so small compared to the rest of the donut? Uh, the napkin's not small. The donut is huge. Uh, well, uh, what do you think of my racetrack then? It kind of looks like a donut, I guess. Uh, hang on. Let me just get the angle right. And yeah, if you look at it from the very top, it'll still pretty much kind of look like a donut. Wait, that's so creative. Okay, let me just get the angle right and... Oh, you really got to, like, squint to see it. And yeah, yeah, but look, you can, like, actually see that it's kind of like a donut. See, we've got, like, the brown concrete over here for, like, the, the main part. And then we got the frosting on top as the pink road. I was wondering why the road was pink. You're still missing the sprinkles, though. And Oh, yeah, well, okay, speaking about the sprinkles, everyone come down over here to the start of the racetrack. The sprinkles are the cars right over here. As you can see, they're all, like, different colored and stuff. And we have to hop in the cars and then do a race. Oh, I totally see it. And yeah, yeah, here, everyone come in through this wall right over here. And everybody, choose the vehicle. I'm going inside of this dirt bike right here because dirt bikes are sick. Dash, is there no orange color one? And, uh, orange color one. Uh, we probably had one at some point and then, uh, I don't know. It probably got blown up or, any, or something. I want this pink one. And yeah, here, everyone bring their vehicles over here at the start and then we can get started. Here, everyone, get ready. This is about to be sick, but be careful because there's traps and uh, things that we need to watch out for. So, is everyone ready? Everyone get lined up on the marks. And alright, alright, here we go. Let's all go in three, two, one. Let's go! And here we go, here we go. No way, I fell in the trap! Oh gosh, man, how did I fall in my own trap? Come on, Come on, I need to go back up to the start. Let's go through the door. Come on, come on, and let's go. I made it through the trap. And oh gosh, I ah, like the fire area. I kind of went through there, but here we go. I'm making good progress. And there we go. Yawn. You guys are slow. And, wait, you already made it to the top. And whoa, what? I just saw you dropping down. All right, well here I'm coming in second place. I'll take second place. Hey, don't fall through the traps. There we go. Uh, no, you're not, Dash. I'm catching up. And wait, what? I just fell through the floor. And oh yeah, yeah right. Uh, Speaker Ruby, I think you may have fell through like the, the area where you're supposed to go through at the end. That's actually like one of the obstacles that I'm going through it right now. Here we go. Boom. There we go. Too easy. I finished. Right, good job. You got third. But anyways, what do you guys think of my build? I think since I won, I give it a 10 out of 10. It's pretty cool. I think it's really cool that the cars are the sprinkles. So I give it a 10 out of 10. Let's go. Uh, well, there was no orange car and it looks nothing like a donut. So you get a negative one. And, well, a negative one. Okay, well, fair enough. All right, well, here, I guess let's check out what the other drawings are. And Okay, whoa. I'm actually very curious to see what we got next. Wait, what is this one supposed to be? Oh, wait, Ruby, is this one yours? Oh, this is the one that I built. Yeah. And wait, who drew this? What is it? <laughs> it's me. I built a tropical tree house. Don't you see it? Oh, that's what that is. Oh, wait. It's a tropical tree house. Wait, hold on. Ruby, what did you... Oh, you built like a guy. Well, I thought like... Okay, so the big head... The treehouse looked like a head to me, so I gave it a beak and eyes, and then I gave it a wood body and then leaves. I just thought he was like some sort of monster guy. Oh, yeah, I guess it does kind of look like some sort of monster. But wait, do you have any stuff on the inside of it? Like, it's supposed to be a treehouse, right? I have a little bit of stuff in it, but first, first, we have something to do. Everyone choose one of these little houses. I'll go for this one. And, ooh, okay, okay. I'll go in uh, this one over here. I got this one. Okay, just stand on the outside of the door, okay? Don't go in yet. We go in at the same time. All right? In three, two, one, go. And all right, let's go. And, wait, why are there pressure plates here? Is this a trap or something? Uh, what is that sound? And, uh, what the? Oh! Whoa! I guess Speaker Baby got unlucky. He chose the trapped one. Whoa, that is pretty unfortunate. But whoa, wait, what do you have down here? Oh, that's my spleef game. I guess it got kind of wrecked. But I guess we can do that next right now. And ooh, okay, you have spleef in your build. All right, all right. Well, uh, here, I guess let's grab some diamond shovels really quick. Yep, everyone get your shovels. And here, I can set everyone to survival mode. Let me just run the command just like that. Boom, there we go. And all right, is everybody ready? All right, let's go. Okay, we're going to start in three, two, one, go. And all right, let's go, let's go. And... I don't, I don't think he built this spleef right. Oh, 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 there's three layers. Oh, I see. Okay, this is gonna, we're gonna be here for a while. What, we are? I thought that it would be make it more exciting. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, oh, what? <laughs> I got speaker, man. And, wait, hold on. Did someone actually fall already? What? I started suffocating. I just fell straight through. What happened? Secret, how did you fall through a spleef with three layers? That takes some new skill. Um, GG, I guess. Uh, I started suffocating. I don't know what happened. Wait, me too. <laughs> wait, what is going on? I think this spleef game is cursed. Don't say that about my spleef game. Get over here. And, oh, wait, wait, Ruby, you got stuck in the thing again. What is going on? I don't know. Dash, do you want to work together to get Speaker Baby? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let's target him. Come here, Speaker Baby. All right, this is getting boring. Oh, what the? Speaker Baby, chill out. What are you doing? Collateral. And, oh, gosh, wait, Ruby got out. All right, Speaker Baby, it's me and you now. Come here. Uh, what is exploding? That's Speaker Baby, do not see him. He's, like, throwing TNT everywhere. Oh, my gosh. We need to avoid that now, too. Wait, I'm kind of cheering for Speaker Man now. Get him. Get him! All right, well, come here, speaker baby. You're going down next. And oh, gosh, that was way too close. Wait, wait, hold on. There's like a sign on here. What does that say? Loser and... 
Oh, I, okay. I Okay, I see how it is. Wait, does that mean I win? Um, I guess so, yeah. And, okay, I'm setting everyone in creative mode again. But, anyways, uh, I guess that was pretty cool. But, wait, we gotta check out what the next drawing is. I'm curious to see who drew mine. And, wait a minute. Hold on. I drew the computer right over here. And, wait, that's what you drew for it, Speaker Man? Uh, yeah, it's a business tower, isn't it? What, a business tower? No, Speaker <laughs> Man, do you not see it's a computer? Look, we have the computer here. We have the mouse here, the keyboard, the, the monitor. What did you think it was? Oh, I thought that was like a business tower that had like a wrecking ball on it with a canoe and a guy with a TV head. Uh, what? Did you thought this was a canoe? Uh, no, dude, that's supposed to be the keyboard. and that, that That's not a wrecking... It was supposed to be a mouse, not a wrecking ball. Oh, uh, well, I filled the wrecking ball up with oil just to fill the business. And what? You filled it up with oil? That's kind of weird. And, wait, hold on. Uh, you thought the monitor was supposed to be a person? Uh, yeah, it looks like a little guy. I, I, I thought you just forgot the arms. What? No, Speakerman, it was supposed to be the monitor. Well, anyways, it looks like you got a a lot of stuff inside of your tower i guess let's check it out yeah we could go check out the workers uh, as you can see at the bottom we have our work memos for the day uh mission money mission money mission money mission money mission money you guys seem to be a very uh money driven company you know what they say about life life's like a sandwich no matter which way you flip it the bread comes first oh uh, okay whoa what the uh, speaker man, i don't think these are very good work conditions uh, these are my tier one workers i don't worry they get their first raise after three lifespans on the job do you need help guys they say they need help anyway on the next layer we have our money Money printing machine. Check it out. Whoa, what the? This is awesome. You literally have actual money printers here? Okay, that is uh, pretty interesting. What? I didn't know that you could just print money. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, this is our main money of uh, cash flow. Wait, is this legal? It uh, depends on how you look at it. But uh, anyway, on the next layer, we have our tier two workers. Oh, oh there's a tier two worker. Uh, wait, what is this? Oh, we got to remind them of what they're selling. And uh, there's no one here. It's their day off. It's their only day of the entire entire uh, 10 decades. And, oh, 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 it's their day off. Okay, I see. But uh, anyways, what do you got on the next floor? Uh, on the next floor, we have uh, uh, a Bitcoin miner. Bitcoin miner? Wait, what's a Bitcoin? Oh, it's like virtual money. Wait, virtual money? No, it's not real. Like emeralds? Oh, no, it's very real and it's very, very expensive. Hey, put that down. That's very expensive. And, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh, what do you have on the next floor? Uh, on the next floor over here, we have our oil storage area. Oil storage? Why do you need oil? To make french fries. Uh, no, the oil is the most financially stable uh, income on the world ever. And, oh, uh, okay. Oh, wow. I see you have a lot of oil here. All right, well, uh, what do you have on the next floor? Oh, this is our oil smeltery. Uh, don't worry about the smog. That's just a a, a work deploy. Uh, dude, I, I think there's a fire hazard. I need to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, dude, I can hardly breathe. No, don't worry about it. OSHA violations, more like OSHA guidelines. Guys, I think there's smoking coming from the floor over here. And, uh, yeah, wait, speaker, there's literally uh, smoke coming everywhere. I, I don't think... This is a very safe building. Uh, it's very safe. That's just the oil smelting. All right. Well, anyways, let's check out the last drawing, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I want to see what the drawing for your thing was, speaker baby. And, oh, wait. Is this one it? Wait, your build actually looks very similar to the drawing. You got, like, the cake in the middle of the water. Yeah. Wait, that's my drawing. Oh, well, I did it perfect, right? You got the cake in the ocean and a big candle. Um, kind of. Well, it's... First of all, the ocean is right, but it's not a cake, and that's not a candle. Uh, what? How is that wrong? It's an island in a lighthouse. And oh, that's what it's supposed to be. Oh. Didn't you forget the light? part of the lighthouse. It looks like a candle. Well, the background is white, so like, how am I supposed to draw the light if the background is white? I don't understand. Maybe like a yellow? Oh, well, I think my artistic twist made it better, but do you guys want to check it out? Oh, yeah, I want to check it out. Let's see it. Okay, well, over here, we have to start with the jet ski race. A jet ski race? Wait, I have my own color. And, ooh, wait, you got colors for everyone? That's awesome. Yeah, on like somebody else's racetrack. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but anyways, uh, when do we start? Okay, we can start in three, two, one, go. And all right, let's go. Hey, wait, Speaker Man got a head start. What the? Going. And here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. And what? The Speaker Man, how are you still in the lead? Woo, very fast. And oh, I won. And here we go. Second place. I'll take that. And oh, the, it looks like Ruby's struggling. Ah! And oh, fourth place. Nice. But anyways, what do we have on the inside of the uh, lighthouse cake thingy over here? Well, if you come in here, we have a little cake factory. Whoa, whoa. Wait, where were you saying my smoke was bad? Look, you literally got a smokestack right there. Oh, well, we have proper ventilation and you don't. And uh, this doesn't look like proper ventilation. But anyways, yeah, this area looks pretty cool. You got like the, the cake areas over here. But whoa, these are some pretty big cakes. Blah, 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 ventilation. All right, well, what's going on with the next of this uh, tour? Uh, yeah, if you guys follow me down here, we have the mob fighting arena. The mob fighting arena? Whoa, but oh, but you have armor in here. All right, let me grab a little bit of this stuff over here. And wait, I'm guessing we have to be in survival mode for this. Uh, yeah, that's why I gave you guys armor. And oh, yeah, I guess so. So 
here. Let me go ahead and set everyone to survival. Boom, there we go. And all right, well, I'm ready, whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Come here, Dash, you're going down. And, no, 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 I'm mob fighting. We're not fighting each other. Oh, I thought it was PvP. All right, well, I'm going to flick the lever in three, two, one. And here we go. Oh, wait, here are the mobs come. All right, quick, everyone, take out the creeper before it blows up. Go, go, go. And oh, gosh, wait, there's so many of them. And oh, wait, that one just blew up. Oh, gosh. Guys, don't hit me. Oh, my speaker, baby, what is this going to stop? Why is there so many of them? Wait, turn it off. That's enough. I'm cornered. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, they just keep coming, guys. I think we have to wait for all of the dispensers to drain before this ends. We can do it. We can do it. Oh, and by the way, there's no off switch. We have to beat all of them. Oh, my gosh, wait, hold on. Everyone, take all the stuff out of the dispensers, quick. Oh, wait, I think the creepers broke some of the redstone as well, but there we go. That's finally over. That was kind of fun, I guess. Yeah, yeah it would have been more fun if you didn't cheat. All right, well, anyways, uh, though, what do you have next? Okay, well, we have one last room, and it's my favorite room of the entire tour. <laughs> wait, what is this over here? I just noticed that the drawing of a cat. Oh. Oh, that's so cute. I hate it. What the? Uh, what? Just blow up Ruby with that thing. Come on. <laughs> Oops. Why did you blow up my drawing? What was that for, Speaker Man? Uh, you shouldn't have been staying so close to a missile. Well, anyways, well, what else do you have? I see you have an upstairs over here. What's up here? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it's good that we saved this part for last. And, uh, okay. Well, what is this area? And, Wait, what is all this? It's an intergalactic ballistic missile. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's just my missile silo that I built inside of the candle. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. This is not supposed to be a missile silo. This is supposed to be a lighthouse. And uh, guys, I think we got all of the drawings wrong. Literally every single one. I don't think it was too far off. The only thing I messed up was the pink frosting. Oh, fine. If you're not going to blow up the nuke, I will myself. Oh, wait, 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 what the? Oh, my gosh. What was that? Uh, sweet relief. Oh, my gosh. Everything just got blown up. Uh, no, not everything. There's a couple things over here that got missed. What the? Why would you do it again? That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.